Six Ways to Shrink Your Swollen Feet and Ankles Peripheral edema is a condition where you have a buildup of fluid in the tissues of your feet, legs, or ankles, and sometimes the arms and hands. This can cause puffiness around the feet, which may leave a dent or a dimple when you press into it with your finger. You may have a feeling of heaviness in your lower legs or feet, which can be sore or painful to walk on. And the skin may feel tight and warm, and it may appear stretched or shiny because of the bulging and the swelling beneath it. Now, swelling in the feet or the ankles can be caused by many different issues, such as having poor circulation, a vitamin B1 or potassium deficiency, having a fatty liver, heart problems, medications, or being pregnant, to name a few. Fortunately, there are natural remedies and some simple things that you can do at home to draw out this extra or intracellular fluid from your tissues. In this video, we'll be exploring the top 6 ways that you can shrink your swollen feet and ankles back down to normal by fixing the root causes of the problem. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical conditions. The first item on my list is a powerful natural remedy called serapeptase. If you wish you can take a supplement called serapeptase, which contains 100,000 serapeptase units, on a daily basis to help reduce the swelling in your feet. Serapeptase is a powerful enzyme that's produced by silkworms to help dissolve their cocoon as they metamorphosize into a moth. What's very interesting is that when humans take this as a supplement, it helps to dissolve scar tissue and blood clots in the arteries, the heart, the liver, and the kidneys, in order to improve circulation of blood to and from your feet. This will naturally help to mobilize the extra fluid that's trapped in your feet and significantly can reduce aching, pain and soreness. In number two, we're going to talk about fixing your diet with potassium vegetables. If you can press your finger into your ankle or your foot and it leaves a small dimple or a dent, this is what we call pitting edema. This type of swelling is fluid retention, where your body is storing too much water outside of your cells. This is usually caused by eating too many refined carbohydrates, like sugar, soda drinks, sweets, breads, pastries, cereals, pasta, grains, and all of the flour-based foods. These refined carbohydrates cause your body to retain more salt, which is sodium, and this depletes your potassium. This makes it very difficult for fluid to move in and out of your cells, so it often starts to pool around your feet. So, in order to bring down the swelling in your feet and ankles, you simply need to cut down on these refined foods and load up on potassium-rich vegetables instead. Some of the best potassium foods to include in your diet include avocados, beet tops, Brussels sprouts, collard greens, arugula, squash, bok choy, tomato, zucchini, broccoli, and all of the leafy green vegetables. The potassium in these foods helps to lower inflammation and swelling in your heart, liver, kidneys, and circulatory system to move the fluid where it needs to be. Eating these daily to replace the refined carbs will quickly cause your body to dump the extra fluid that's putting the pressure on your feet. Coming back now to number 3, which is dandelion leaf tea. For this recipe, you'll need 2 teaspoons of dried dandelion leaves, or you can use 1 quarter of a cup of fresh dandelion leaves, and steep in 1 cup of boiling water. Allow the dandelion leaves to infuse in the water for 5-10 minutes, strain and then drink this 2-3 times per day. This drink is a very powerful natural diuretic which helps to release the extra fluid from your body that's causing the swelling. Now, if your swelling is mostly in the right foot, or you have a bloated stomach, this usually indicates that the problem is coming from a fatty or damaged liver. 
Dandelion leaf tea helps to support your liver in order to bring down the swelling in the feet. You can also eat the fresh washed dandelion leaves and the flowers in your healthy salads, and they have a slightly bitter flavor similar to spinach. Number 4 is Nutritional Yeast I recommend that you start eating 2-3 to three tablespoons of unfortified nutritional yeast on a daily basis. This will help to balance out your blood sugars, reduce swelling, and improve the circulation to your feet. This is a deactivated yeast that's loaded with B vitamins, especially vitamins B1, which is essential for maintaining the fluid balance in your heart, your liver, and your muscles. Many people are deficient in vitamin B1 because they consume alcohol, refined foods, or too much caffeine which causes fluid retention and even nerve damage to the feet and hands. So start adding nutritional yeast into your salads, soups, stir-fries, yogurts and other dishes to supply your body with more of this B1. I also recommend eating more garlic, organic pork, wild salmon, and sunflower seeds to bolster your B1 intake. Now, number May 5th sounds simple, but it's often overlooked, move your body. Your feet are the furthest extremities away from your heart, meaning that your body has to work harder to keep the bodily fluids pumping back up to your heart. In order to improve this circulation, you definitely want to start moving around more, especially if you work at a desk all day. Start taking 5-minute breaks every hour, stand up and walk around, go outside when you can, and get some oxygen, and also, you want to do some exercise like walking, swimming, or biking at least twice per week to get your heart pumping. Exercise like this will help to strengthen the tone of your veins so that your blood can flow freely around your body and eliminate the excess fluid retention. And finally, number six is the Cypress Oil Massage. A very simple yet powerful way to help push out the fluid that's in your swollen feet and ankles is by using manual massage techniques. Do this yourself or ask a family member to gently massage and stroke the affected area upwards towards your heart using firm but gentle pressure. What this does is it helps to disperse the extra fluid and encourage blood flow to the feet. You'll also want to massage the entire lower portion of the legs, including your calves and the sides of your legs to help ease the passage of fluid. There are also certain essential oils that have been shown to absorb into the skin and reduce inflammation in the blood vessels, including cypress oil, cedar oil, grapefruit, and peppermint. So take a few drops of your chosen oil and add to a little coconut oil to dilute it. Use this as a massage oil and massage the skin gently around your feet and legs. The coconut oil itself in this mixture can help to soothe the inflamed and the stretched skin that's being caused by the swelling that's beneath it. As you can see, you can reduce the swelling in your ankles and feet by cleaning up your diet and using the natural remedies that we've talked about today. Use as many of these techniques as you can but focus mostly on cutting out the sugar and the refined foods, as this is usually the main underlying cause of fluid retention. Now, in addition to the six steps that we've already talked about today, I want to share with you some other quick tips that may help you to drain the fluid from your feet. If your swollen feet is caused by liver problems, start drinking freshly squeezed lemon juice and water to help clean the liver and improve blood circulation. You can also try adding fresh parsley to your salads. This is another powerful diuretic for reducing swelling in different parts of the body. If you're pregnant, overweight, or you're standing on your feet all day, the extra load may be causing inflammation in the legs and feet. So you can soak your feet in a bucket containing Epsom salts and hot water each night to improve the circulation and lower the inflammation. And finally, if you're a diabetic, pre-diabetic, or you've got blood sugar problems, you may want to take 1-2,000 mg of potassium citrate in a glass of water. 
Do this daily to help boost your potassium levels even further, in order to reduce the sodium retention and help to move the fluid in and out of your cells as it normally should. So here's a quick summary of the 10 things you can do to shrink your swollen feet and ankles. Take 100,000 serapeptase units of serapeptase daily. Cut out the refined carbs and eat more potassium vegetables. Drink 2-3 cups of dandelion leaf tea per day. Eat nutritional yeast for vitamin B1. Move your body with exercise for better circulation. Massage the swollen area with cypress oil. Drink lemon water to clean your liver. Eat more parsley, soak your feet in Epsom salts and hot water, and drink potassium citrate powder in a glass of water. If you'd like to learn more, tap on this video that's on the screen now for more information. Once again, thank you so much for watching my video today and for your support. Wishing you great health, wealth, and happiness.